So I'm in BC76 in Renfrewshire, which is just on the south side of um, Glasgow. I haven't actually written the height there. We're about 440 feet up. So, so we're south, south, south of Glasgow, and it's about half a mile from farmland, and it's in my garden. And the substrate is a Berberis, which is most of my um, folios type lichens seem to be on the Berberis. I've got other other shrubs which have basically almost nothing on at all, or nothing nothing that's obviously folios. Mm. So it's um, very closely oppressed to the twig, pale grey thallus, lecanarine apothecia, black discs, and a thick saline margin. I actually, this, this photo was the other way around on my original version, so I've turned it sideways just so I can fit it in. Um, the total length of the thallus was two centimetres, and the apothecia mostly about to about one metre, well, sorry, one millimetre. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lobes are about one to two millimetre max. Um, I did look at it under the microscope and tested it with K, which didn't really show much at all. It's possibly yellow, but not obviously. So, so this was it um, dry. I can just show you a photo separately as well, rather than having it on the document if you want. And then I wet it. And the reason I wet it was because of these kind of patches here, which I think are maculae. And there are two different, It's I think it's a fissia, and there are two different fissias. There's Epolia and Stellaris. And it sounds like um, Epolia is more likely to have these maculae, but people can tell me if that's wrong or, or right. But so, um, so the ID was, I thought it was Epolia. Um, it says that, yeah, in the big flora that Stellaris lacked the white flecks and the medulla is K minus. And, but I wasn't able to really do the medulla. I haven't, I should have done it again, but I haven't got around to it because I've not been here. Um, so, and that, that's it spritz to make it wet because the lamaculae show up more when it's wet. So my conclusion is that it's Epolia, but you're welcome to give me another thing. What else? Um, and it's common throughout the British Isles, but it's the only one in my garden. I don't know why that would be, but that's the only one there. So that's my first one. Any comments? Mm, got one question. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it is a polio or Stellaris, or I can't tell, or I should? <laughs> well, you said it was K, K yellow, didn't you? Well, I said possibly yellow because it was in. I mean, that does say that it's K minus if it's Stellaris, but. I and that's think... the medulla, isn't it? That's the medulla rather than. Cause it, that's true, yeah. Just that's reading true. it. Yeah, true. Um, so is that the only difference? No, uh, the, still here, the... Alison. Oh, the loads lack, lack the the maculae. The maculae aren't aren't yeah. around on the uh, Stellaris. So I think these are the maculae. Yeah. It's no worth noting that in the in the textbook in Dobson they're called pseudocyphellae. I know, but that was we. Mm -hmm. I think as a result of that learning the language course, um, yeah. we actually yeah. crossed that out. I think that yeah. was. No, I'm just uh, just just highlighting it for anybody who hasn't yeah. done that. So yeah. No so I've actually theory, crossed that out and change it to maculae. Mm -hmm. and, and my version because that's what I was yeah, yeah. told by somebody. I think that must have been April must have told us to do that. Has anybody seen St Stellaris ever? No. No. It's it's so similar that I think you could you could walk past because Apolia here around here anyway is so common. Um, I would tend to walk past Stellaris if I saw it because I would assume it's Apolia. Um, without testing it. I think that's part of the problem, really, isn't it? With, yeah. Um... <clears throat> so we've all got to go around wetting it to see if the maculae appear. Yeah. <laughs> Walk that on a rainy day. <laughs> I think Stellaris yeah. is much less common. But, yeah. But we, perhaps we miss it because we don't look for it. Mm. Yeah. I think the other thing about this one, which is, um, is the ones I've got, um, the... Uh, <clears throat> the um, um, apothecia are more sort of concentrated, so you can't see the lobes so clearly. No, the lobes are quite, you can see them um, in the top, uh, oopsie, this bit here, you can sort of see where they're classed at the edges, but otherwise they're very unclean. Yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but I've got just on the right hand picture, I, I think that, I believe that, <laughs> that is the macula, isn't it? That's in the I middle believe, of the picture. Yeah. I think so. Looks yeah. like it to me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very so that good. Was, 
So that's the first mm -hmm. one. So the other one is possibly less. Oops. Right, so it's obviously in the same place. Um, it's actually, yeah, it's nearer my back door. <laughs> the other one. Um, and it's on a, a boulder which we brought into the garden when the garden was, um, well, I didn't bring it in there. We had somebody landscape the garden about 20 years ago, so I've no idea where the boulder came from or what kind, and I haven't yet checked what kind of rock it is. So this is a crustace one with a thin salus, and it's it's very it's quite smooth and areolate. It's pale blue grey with rusty staining, and I I put lesser dinoposy. Actually, so they don't really show up so much there, but when it's wet, I don't don't know whether you can see that they actually kind of pop out more. They're more um yeah. convex when they're wet and they're also browner which again doesn't maybe show properly in this photo maybe i should show the photos rather than the, the document but they were much browner and swollen can you enlarge the document at all uh can i you know fill the screen you've yeah, got it on right. you've only yeah. got it on part part of yeah, the screen i have to move my i don't know if i can get to reach the is it here i can't because because of the screen sharing thing it's in the way of my my toolbar I don't know if I can move the, can I move the? You can move the toolbar to um, the side if you want. Uh, I think if you go to the very left of the screen, there are a set of four dots. The, of that right, the right, you mean the toolbar. right? No, the left side of that toolbar. Right at the very left side, just below the word file and slightly to the left. Oh, right there. If you pick that up, I think you can pick it up and drop it at the side of the screen. So you click it and hold it and then drop it, go further down to where the document is and drop it down further down and it's further down. You picked it up and moved it. Hmm. Okay, you maybe it's oh, there. There, there, right, okay. And then, well, you know which one was on your stand. I think it's <laughs> I can't see it. down below the black lines, the double, col two columns of lines. There's one that's got a, a, a oh, oh, one of those two. Will one be of these. Zoom. One of those will be a Zoom type. No, so that's not it. Right, that one. That. You'd probably have to close that. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah. yeah. So just click, uh, it, look, click the upper one again. Get rid of the left hand side. Click that. Click that one. Click. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. deselect that, that one. one that's it. Yeah. That one. Okay. And let's then you go can to look enlarge it. Two hundred percent. Whoa. Okay. Hang and on. then you can scroll. <laughs> scroll. <laughs> it's complicated, isn't it? Right. Okay. Right, so there. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, so there you can see maybe, hopefully, that they look brown in here. These ones particularly were, were quite brown. Can you see that? Yeah. When they were wet, yeah. Um, so that's the picture. Um, so that, and that's the rock. So that's, that's it this bit here and that that I think is the same but it hasn't got apathies yet and then again down the bottom it's another bit there oh. let's say I think it's the city of the filler but I'm not sure if that's right let's go back to ordinary size right. I don't know what anybody thinks about that is it because of the orange staining that you think it? Yes, but, I mean it might not be, but there are lots around me. There are lots of rocks which are what I'm, local rocks which have got orange staining on as well. But this one obviously isn't a local rock, so maybe it isn't the city litter filler. I don't know. I think it's what I see. Well, I call this a deer litter filler, particularly if it goes brown when it's wet. Yeah. Do you find that, Graham? Uh, I was hoping you nobody's going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> this this sort of lichen is a bane of my life. Mm. <laughs> right. so I'm confronted with them daily, yeah, endlessly. Oh. I wish I knew what to do with them. Okay. Was, I call them Lycidia something, mm. or yeah. Porpidia sometimes something. The brown is off to nine, isn't it, from the rock? Mm. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, I think there are, there are others that stain brown as well, aren't they? Stained slightly brown like this. Yeah, lots of the poor pities. Right. How did you ID it, Alison? Good question. It was so long ago, I can't remember. Um, well, I obviously haven't... I don't think I've tested it. 
I can't remember what it doesn't. Does it not need testing? Let's have a look. Can we go through the key together? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I mean, oh, it says it's all negative. It says everything is negative. So I think I maybe didn't test it because I just thought, oh, well, it will be negative anyway, which is a bit naughty. You mean going through the Lycidia key, or are we going back further than that? Well, well, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. You know, I need practice in all of it, but I don't know what everybody else needs. If everybody else, you know, agrees it's Lycidia, then no, no, it's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good idea as well. The only trouble is that the first thing in the key is Salah C plus red or C minus, and I don't think I tested it. Which can I ask which key we're on? Are we that's looking the, at Lycidia. Oh, we're assuming we're along Lycidia, okay. But if it if it's Pulchidia, then that's obviously different. Why why don't why don't we go back to the Lycidian key? Yeah, let's let's try. It's start. on page thirty-nine. Page 39 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was so impressed you identified Alice, and I just want to be curious. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can Alison take us through how she... Right, well, let's say the first... So it's PH on page 39. The first thing is apothecia, yellow, orange, pink, or red. So it's obviously none of those. Yeah. Right. The next one is apothecia fawn to black, which says Lycidia group all... And then it's also got tremor, uh, which includes all, all sorts of things. Which book are you using? Um, Dobson. Yeah, but the trouble is the pages are different in all the different editions. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. And that's 39, is, the... is that the generic key at the front? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is the 2018 the edition. Key. Yeah. And it's a 2018 edition I've got. So uh, Apothecia Fawn to Black is Lycidia group all, which includes Lycidia, Lycidella, Amygdalaria, etc., etc. Lots of different ones. And there's also lots of, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> That's 18 different, <laughs> different kinds. Um, so it could be that. Tremelicia, that says rust red thallus with innate black fruit found on metal rich rocks. Lot rocks. But this thallus, what you'd say was grey or pale at least. You wouldn't call it rust red, would you? No. And Poro Cipher says Apothecia 0.3 to 0.5. What size can I say these were? Uh, about one millimeter. So they're, they're that, so it's not that. Right. Placentiella. Minute colloid or spherical chocolate brown or brown green granules. It's not that. Those. Clausadia. Apothecia brown to black prunos in many species. Well, these weren't prunos, I don't think. Right. No. But I mean, it still could be because that just says many species. Is it? But it says it's just the apothecia that are prunos. So again, so I'm just. Can I just? I mean, I can't tell that because I'm so inexperienced. What, what is it when you say obvious? You know, it sounds like a number of you say yes. That's obviously not true. Nice. What are you seeing that? Tells you be, that? Let's have a look at the picture. Let me look, go down a bit. There would be kind of. There's the picture. So prunes kind of, sort of, of sugary film on them. Yeah. How about sort of dusted with icing sugar? Yes. Okay. Yeah. On the apothecia. Yes. Uh, and we're saying because they're so dark, they clearly haven't got icing sugar on them. So well, you can't, right. they have, I mean, you can't actually tell from this photo, but I would say they definitely haven't from what I remember. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Good. That's <laughs> right. fine. It's fine. I just wondered, wondered if I was supposed to be able to see it. But... I don't think you can see it on here. Okay. Um, Brian area, grey salus, dry underhangs, wood, wood or pebbles. Well, it's not a dry underhang. It's not on wood and it's, it's bigger than a pebble, but I don't know. How big? <laughs> oh, that's now again the apathecia are too small, right? 0.4, so it's not that. Miriquidica, variable. Ariel. Pink. Oh, yes, but I didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know. Does this have know. areoles? This have yes, areoles. So this... It has got areoles. It's, yeah, you can see the little, you know, thin lines you can see between here. Oh, yeah. Then around there, some there. So it has oh, got yeah, areoles. Sky, I was looking at the wet one. We've... Yeah, yeah and they, they don't show up so much in the wet, but on the dry one, you can see the areoles. Um, so areoles, greater brown. 
Well, they're grey, aren't they? Probably. Glossy, but it's not glossy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> not easy. Not easy. Just, just I find easy. this part of the key incredibly difficult to yes. use. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. It is difficult. <laughs> I suppose from there you'd have to go to to Miraquidica and see what Miraquidica looks like in there. Yeah, I don't think it's Miraquidica because I think the um, Apothecia and Miraquidica are a lot closer together. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. The yeah. are a much darker grey brown. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like to offer a suggestion which might cut us down the time a little bit. Let me suggest that it might be Porpidia crustulata. Right. And what I would like to suggest is find a reason why it's not that. Okay. Opidia crustulata. I've got um, a picture up on the screen uh, from uh, the internet, which I <laughs> can't show you, but um, there are. You want to do you want to share a screen instead? Because I think people. No, know. not really. I don't think it'd be all that. Um, if you go to. If, if any, anybody can go to um, another browser and uh, open and just Google Porpidia crustulata, you'll find what I've found. Or page 376 if you've got the book. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think in Porpidia crustulata the apothecia go brown when they're wet. You haven't, haven't seen that feature, which they Are do. Are they going brown when they're wet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. These, are, oh. these ones have gone brown here, yeah, and there. I can't see any brown. Oh, I can't even see uh, they are, no, I wonder if the photo is better, if I can find the photo. Um, let's see. Let's oh, see. you have a K plus yellow, Alison. Let's see. let's see if this is better. Let's do that bigger. There, do they look brown? Do yeah. these are brown? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. I can see. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's good. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's better. Yeah. So that's brown. Okay. Well, it's amazing, oh, Alison, yeah. having gone to that first part of the key, you're then taken to pages 250 to 51 anyway, mm. which is where Grain for Pity would appear, as well as Lysidia. Mm. 250 to 51? Mm. Well, that's what happens if you're not in that section you read out there. Right, the yes. first part is to go to the key of that general group on right. 251. Oh, right, the Cydia group, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and that has Porpidia in it. Porpidia, as it were. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And you need, as you say, you need to. It isn't a C minus or a, a C plus, whichever. Yeah. So I need. I need to test it properly. Anyway. They are really difficult group to do those two. Oh. <laughs> Right. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, maybe we should leave it at that. But it, they do go. They do go brown when they're wet, anyway. So yeah. it's a, it's a yeah. possible, but it may not be. <laughs> so, so the other question I would have is how many? Which other possible lichens have that um, patchy, iron-rich staining? You know, the yellowy staining. Yeah. So they, you need a, a multi-access key, don't you? Um, yeah, because there's not that many of them, are there? I mean, I don't think. I think uh, Porpidias can Por do it. Yeah, Porpidias can do it, can they? And um, obviously, um, probably most people who see this would just call it um, Lacedella lithophila, wouldn't they? Without and, um, and and get it wrong half the time because it's something else. Yeah, in the same way that you just just done for the um, the fissia. You know, in other words, oh, you, yes. you see what I mean? Yeah. You know, you yeah. just yeah. you just look at this and say, it's yeah. probably one of those. And you'd probably, probably half the... you probably have to do spores and yeah, the microscope yeah. work because even when you go with good people, they say it's you need you need a microscope and pass over it. Yeah, and presumably you also you need to see which other ones go where the apothecia go brown because yeah. But if you were to, if you were if you were to get as far as I think this is one of these three or four based yeah. on just the morphology that would be really useful, wouldn't it? Yeah. But that's not. It's quite difficult to get to that point using the current keys, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's a that's a big deficiency, I think. 
Because mm. I'd be happy saying this is one of these three or four if I knew what those three or four were, and then say further work required to um, to you know to be to be more certain. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Right. Well, Thanks very much. Okay. I'll stop showing that. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been looking at Lycidia lithophila probably for quite a long time, so that should have gone into our brains. <laughs> I have to say it's only probably because we haven't seen the microscope. Mm, no. I didn't know how to actually really get it off the rock because it's so so oh. compressed to the rock. Yeah, it's very well, I don't think you can very easily. No. Surely all you need to do is just scrape off uh, an apothecia and then squash it and do the spores. That's what you need to do, isn't it? I mean, you, don't need to, you can't take the whole thing unless you're no, no, no. going to chisel it off or something. What are you going to do with it then? You still, I mean, what are you going to do if you take it? Well, just to put it under the microscope and have a look yeah, at it. Oh, no, we see in more detail, right? Okay. There's a bit of C mark. And, and obviously, yeah, a bit of C. And, C would be yeah. in plus. Yeah, C, I'll, I'll do some C question. as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the first question is C plus or C minus. Yeah, I'll do C. You've got a microscope now, haven't you, Alison? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'll do C. Yeah. See well, and what straight. you really need, I suppose, is um, uh, it's the old hammer and cull chisel, really. <laughs> Start <laughs> breaking up the garden, back garden, I'm afraid. Which I'm, not sure, I'm not sure your partner would be very impressed for. <laughs> probably not, no. You could probably poke an apothecium off and then glue it with mm. copy decks. <coughs> so yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well done, Alison. Yes. Good. Yes.